Attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, then you need Nelson. You need Nelson. Prompt Fire Rescue is dispatched for a report of a structure fire. As crews were acknowledging the receipt of the call, uh, we were informed that there was a well-involved structure. The status of the occupant was unknown. Uh, fortunately, our engine one was in close proximity and they arrived in less than three minutes. Upon their arrival, they found uh, a fully involved Class A motor home that also was extending to the uh, line of mature trees running along the perimeter edge on the west side of the property. So this uh, fire occurred in an area without hydrants. Therefore, our response considered and brought all of our water tenders. So we had plenty of water for the incident. Uh, crews had water on the fire in very short fashion. We spoke with uh, family and other members who you know, knew the occupant and confirmed that, that, to the best of their knowledge, that the person was still in the, uh, the motor home. As we knocked the fire down, placed it under control, we conducted a quick primary search from the exterior because of the condition of the property, including those explosions that were occurring, and found that there, in fact, was an occupant in the structure and the occupant did not survive the, the fire and uh, became part of a crime scene. So we immediately added additional deputies, the detectives from the sheriff's office and the deputy state fire marshal who responded from Las Vegas. It was part, it was a, a mobile vehicle, obviously a motorhome, but it was used as a fixed residence. So it was occupied for an extended period of time on that property. From all the accounts from the witnesses and our preliminary investigation, it is leaning in the direction of a possible propane explosion that caused the fire. And um, it's supported by uh, physical evidence as well as the statements. And that's where we're heading in this direction, but the, uh, the investigation is far from over. Uh, they weren't necessarily family members, but there was an extended family relationship. There was, uh, one of the family members had dated uh, this individual. And so there was a connection and they knew each other. Uh, there was there was discussions that the, there was possibility that that person may have been moving that day, but there was no physical evidence to support that. We're leaning in the direction right now. It's undetermined still, um, but there's every indicator. We're investigating all aspects, so we can't really lean in one way or the other, whether it was intentional or not intentional. But we're leaning in the direction of an undetermined fire, most likely in an accidental arena. There was no extension to any of the other closely placed exposures. Sure, so what we commonly and lovingly call our MERV, which is our mobile emergency response vehicle. That gives us the ability to gain or have our key stakeholders who are going to be involved in this incident since this could be a long duration. There's multiple components. It's, uh, it's highly dynamic. So this is that response van that we acquired almost a year ago now, and we use it on significant related incidents that occur in the valley. And this was a really good example of how that came into play. We were able to conference in this particular van, still have eyes on the scene through the point to zoom camera, fixed a mast, and um, gave us great ability if it had occurred at night, we can utilize the same resources in a climate controlled environment. And again, in this particular case, it was used for incident management and stabilization and also for the uh, meetings with the stakeholders.